नमस्कार हम अशोक गुयाल एंड आई हैव द प्लेजर ऑफ वेलकमिंग पद्मश्री डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक इन दिस स्पेशल शो एवरी वीक नमस्ते डॉक्टर वेलकम नमस्कार नमस्कार सो एज वी बिगिन टुडेज कॉन्वर्जेशन वी आर इवन क्लोजर टू यूएस प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शंस एंड लेट मी बिगिन बाय सीकिंग योर ओपिनियन ऑन द सिल्वर लाइनिंग व्हिच रिपब्लिकन्स आर सीइंग विद रेफरेंस टू द नंबर ऑफ voter registration uh, do you see it is uh, likely to prove as a game changer well i mean uh, uh, it looks like uh, election is much closer than what uh, polls suggest so it it's anybody's game right now and uh, because uh, uh, the republican registrations are very high number 2 a uh, lot of uh, democrats uh, think that uh, a democratic supporter de- uh, support democrat supporters are thinking that biden is going to win because of the uh, big margin on the poll so they may not bother to go to poll particularly in the pandemic and 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 that may affect the election result so and the other thing is in last 87 times out of 100 whenever the mark in first uh, uh, I mean, just before the uh, election, if market goes up, usually incumbent wins. So uh, uh, only, only, only caveat is here is the handling of the pandemic. So uh, that's why it becomes very interesting, and we'll see what happens. Whatever happens, I think we all should vote of uh, candidate of our choice. actually i think that is the best advice but uh, as uh, the reference of covid 19 came so the recent uh, exchange of um, unpleasant uh, words and feelings between us uh, president and the infectious disease expert dr anthony fauci uh, do you look at it as uh, damaging uh, for uh, president trump in some way no i don't think so it's a non event because in, during election year, election campaign and the heat of the election every day you will see the some comment which you one may not or may or may not like it you know or may not may or may not agree but that doesn't make any much difference uh, 15 days from today and your uh, thoughts on uh, the first time in the final <laughs> presidential debate they will have the moderator uh, given the facility of making use of the mute button that is going to be interesting so that uh, any candidate can express uh, himself without any interruption from his opponent um what do you read uh, in this um, new initiative well i think this new initiative i like it actually because uh, that way at least uh, uh, the public can hear or, or audience can hear what candidate has to say and i think they are not going to moot uh, when the, there is a open discussion it means there is a rebuttal so i think that's perfect and that way the whole thing will be more organized and there is nothing wrong in it because it can work both ways so it is not uh, advantage to one over other so i think uh, i like that idea because that way at least uh, we can hear what candidate has to say for 2 minutes and then of course when then rebuttal starts and and then somebody answers of the rebuttal that time um, they are not going to moot it so i think that will be interesting yeah i think we will be able to hear exactly what they want to say because last time right. uh, it was impossible and no, right uh, um this uh, developments uh, as are happening um, as we move closer to the final day of election the nato has also um, sort of expressed if biden wins they are going to seek uh, a meeting with him in the early march or something uh, so at this time when people are uh, making up their mind for either candidate the decision about nato as uh, the new relationship under president trump do, do you see it is uh, going to help him politically and uh, biden showing a kind of uh, inclination towards um, interacting with nato how that's likely to play out 
I think um, uh, current president also does interact with the NATO because uh, USA is a main uh, kind of uh, source of the um, you know, funding of the NATO. So uh, I think uh, the question, your question kind of uh, has a meaning that uh, current president never interact with the NATO. No, that's not true. The current president does in interact with the NATO because they have to interact with the NATO because NATO is a, as an alliance to protect not only uh, Europe but it also protect the USA too. So, so uh, it's a it's a it's a treaty. It's a, it's a defense treaty. Uh, so there is always communication between NATO uh, officers and uh, and admi uh, Trump administration or any administration who is in the power. So I think uh, uh, what you are saying is. Even when, uh, what do you call, when President uh, Trump won, uh, same time uh, after, right after, in a couple of months, uh, Trump went to Paris and they met, all NATO members met him. So, and, and this NATO member also meets them in the G7 meeting and also G20 meeting. So it's not that uh, because Biden is coming, that's why NATO people are, NATO members want to meet. No, no, I think no, 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 bring it up. Yeah, let, let me interrupt. Interrupt. Quick, yeah. Let, let, allow me a quick interruption. The reason I bring it up is because President Trump has been very critical of NATO. Uh, he has said that this Western alliance is obsolete. And uh, he has also been very critical of some of the members of this alliance. And uh, he, in you know, 2018, um, threatened that US would pull out of NATO. So from okay. that point of view, probably... Uh, Democrats might be more favorable to NATO. No, 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 no. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, your wrong interpretation. What uh, in 20, after he become a, a president, what he was trying to say as a part of the kind of uh, putting pressure on the NATO members, because NATO members were not paying their dues as, as it was de described by NATO charter. And, and therefore, he, he wanted to say that uh, USA cannot keep funding the NATO all the time and, and other country member, though they are uh, uh, well-to-do economically, they should um, uh, uh, contribute their share of the funding. And, and, and in order to get that funding, he, he was kind of uh, uh, saying what he was saying, that NATO is absolute and but NATO, NATO never be never going to be absolute because the Western world needs NATO to defend against the communist Russia or China. So I think I think people are kind of uh, reading it uh, out of uh, without much background uh, understanding of the NATO. So I don't think that's true. And uh, I think by doing that, actually by threatening them or by pulling out from the NATO, NATO started paying the, uh, their contribution. So it's a, it's a good for NATO. So other members are paying their, their dues, you know. Uh, so the dynamics is likely to be different under uh, President Trump as it is. And if uh, there is a democratic uh, president, then uh, that is uh, what uh, news reports are suggesting. And But moving towards uh, the vice presidential candidate of uh, Democratic Party. Uh, she tweeted with her um, self uh, in the rain, with umbrella rain or shine, democracy wait for no one. Uh, that was one way of conveying that one should vote. But there is another um, tweet by some Democratic Party members where Kamala Harris is shown as Ma Durga. And as you are aware, uh, Hindus all over the world are celebrating Navratri. And then uh, President Trump in that tweet was shown, in that picture was shown as a demon. Uh, and many Hindus are upset about uh, uh, this um, being an insensitive way. Uh, how do you uh, read, um, do you read anything in this with any political ramification? No, I, I think I ignore it. You know, I, I mean, I just look at it as a, another, uh, uh, another uh, kind of social posting. And there is no, definitely there is no ramification either way, uh, uh, plus or minus uh, on the election or uh, uh, how people, how they're going to vote because uh, this, uh, uh, the, the posting has uh, nothing to do with, uh, uh, I mean, 
the the majority of the american uh, um, uh, 99% of the american probably doesn't know what we are talking you know what ma durga and uh, uh, all this thing so only on and uh, um, most of the indian americans are divided into two camp and actually uh, so some they like the biden and 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 his philosophy and some like trump and his philosophy so i don't think this uh, cartoon or social posting has any meaning or or any uh, real uh, effect on the election mm-hmm. so i know to <laughs> but to stay with you because i saw a lot of social media exchanges with many people commenting and uh, whether it is to be treated as uh, being insensitive to hindus or not would again as you mentioned depend on the way you look at it as a hindu also but there are good number of uh, politically active hindus now so that is why i thought this has an interesting uh, political um, kind of um, uh, no but i mean uh, uh, look at this way be i mean uh, be pragmatic in a sense that uh, total number of votes say there are i don't know how many people are going to register to vote say 100 100 million people right out of 100 million people how many hindus less than 0.03% so whether does it make any difference even uh, somebody likes it or not like it uh, no because the the number is so minuscule so uh, but again of course uh, it it uh, this kind of religious posting does uh, it, it's very sensitive thing and should not be uh, uh, posted because it hurts uh, uh, people's uh, faith feeling up about the faith and and the religion and and religion should be out of uh, equation in the election absolutely i think that is the same way of looking at <laughs> looking at it dr pai i give you on that uh, but now moving towards uh, as we are uh, just few minutes to go towards the financial side and uh, as indian americans are growing in uh, their uh, political interest as well as impact a leading indian american advocacy and political action committee has announced that it has raised over uh 10 million dollars uh, to support the campaign of democratic candidate biden uh so as you were saying uh, indian americans are both sides um and this also um makes me remember that republicans are falling short of funds as compared to democrats which is interesting because usually one assumes that those who are in the power they have more access to resources so your uh, analysis of this situation well again um, uh, i mean obviously democrat has raised more fund because of the um, uh, kind of ineffective uh, management of the covid by pre- uh, current administration uh, people might be and, and people may, may might be feeling that probably democrat has better chance of winning the uh, election so uh, obviously uh, the small uh, contributors are contributing more to the uh, democrat but uh, you know there are super uh, uh, what do you call um, that there are people who who contribute not to the campaign they contribute to the other way to the victory fund absolutely uh, which, and which has no limitations to it so one can even uh, contribute 1 billion dollar and there is no there's no so we don't know exactly how much uh, um, each party got in their victory fund because what they are talking about is only official fund which is uh, not it cannot give you more than 5700 dollar per person absolutely absolutely so as we conclude uh, today's uh, conversation uh, this week with pansi dr sudhir parik your parting words uh, um, from today's show um, especially these two issues are walking with us uh, covid 19 still has not left us and then uh, being politically aware and discharging one's duty to cast vote i think um, um, uh, is democracy it's very important that we must vote we must uh, make sure that we exercise our rights and doesn't matter whom you we vote vote it all depends upon your uh, one's choice and i think uh, i would encourage each and every one to vote and uh, for pandemic concern still as as i said every last few weeks 
that uh, virus is still around us, uh, with us. We have to be very careful. We have to be safe. We have to wear mask. We have to keep personal hygiene. And we should keep a distance from each other. And do not attend any gathering, indoor gathering, whether it's in restaurant or even private homes, because that is a super spreader of the disease. And uh, disease has a lot of uh, complications and a lot of sequelae, even if you recover from that. So be careful and be safe. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week. God bless America. God bless India.